it going bros? Today I have a tutorial on how to use a green screen in DaVinci Resolve coming up. Okay guys, so this is the media pool of DaVinci Resolve. Basically we have our drives over here and the media pool right here. So I find this very easy to just, because we're in the media tab, just open your file opener. If you're on a Mac, it's probably Finder. If you're on Windows like me, it's this little icon. So I store all of my stuff and I'll just go to my recent video, the green screen video. So I find this really easy because it just takes way less steps and you can import any video you want. So I just take this and I drag it in. And obviously it probably has, this is 60 frames I believe. So we gotta change it. So over here, see how, for some reason, my camera doesn't like to do that, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the wrong, um, I want to delete this. Remove. Yeah, I'm just going to delete it, because that's wrong. Remove. So for some reason, my camera doesn't like to put ones with audio in. Very annoying. If you guys have this problem where it doesn't, sa doesn't have any audio, just go back find a different clip and it will show the little music sign, the music note, and you'll know that you have audio. Okay, so that's pretty easy. So that's my green screen video with the green screen. Now I want to know, okay, what do I want to have on the green screen? So this is actually from, these are some from the Alex Ryder books. We can put the books behind us or I can show you guys how I did the explosion that you guys saw in the last video if you watch it. If you haven't watched it, pause the video. There'll be a link right up in the corner. Go click on that and watch that video. We have our two pieces of media in the media pool right here. That's kind of a little bit of a preview to make sure you have the right clip. So now that we have that, we are going to move right into the edit panel where you see we have a timeline, we have effects, we have our two viewers up here, the um, element viewer and the timeline viewer. So if you double click on something, you can see it in the viewer right here. So yeah, bros, look at this. That's so cool. Because it doesn't still have that. So I believe the way I did it is you always want to have your green screen as video two. So I put it in as just because it does standard as video one. So I move it up to video two, but video one and a video two. So now see, this is really weird. My face is all, so we'll put Right there. Okay, so now we have our audio. We'll probably turn the audio down. Oh yeah, bros, look at this. That's so cool. It's the since my computer isn't super powerful and it's also not these are the official things, it's kind of the hard for it fabric stuff you guys. So then since that's our video two, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this into a video one. Cause basically the idea is see how loud that is, so I'm gonna bring that audio down. Way down. So the idea is our video is the overlay. My, we're gonna cut out the green screen and my face will be the overlay. So how we do that now is, so say you've done all your, okay, I, I cut and um, if you guys don't know how to do all that, you can go to a actual tutorial. So I cut and um, whatever I needed to do. Okay, so I'm, I'm editing it. I'm done editing, I go, okay, I want to now get rid of my face in the green screen want to see behind me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the color tab. This is very complicated, so do not freak out. Keep your pants on, okay? It's all right. So what we're going to do here is we want to have the clip with the green screen selected so it comes up to our viewer here. Mine is already clicked on the qualifier here. If you guys aren't, don't, again, don't lose your pants. Go over and click on this little dropper icon. And once you did that, okay, you're good. Now you're gonna go over here and make sure it's not plus or minus or any of these other ones. We'll, we'll hit this later. You're gonna click on this one so it, it will read the color and then you'll see your hue, saturation, and luminance. We're gonna do stuff with that after. So, since we have, so let's get to a frame where my face is facing so it can easily recognize my face. Perfect. Okay, that's a perfect frame because my face is right in front. So what we're gonna do is, if we do this, I'm just gonna draw a couple lines. Okay, 
over here too. Get over here, all up in here. Oh yeah. So we wanna draw that, so now, what we can do is, let's see if I can, see how my face is gray? What I want to do is then come back over here and clip this so the green screen is gray. So we're gonna do that and do this all around. Oh yeah, so now, but if we still go into a 50% zoom, you can see how there's green and green splashes. So that's where the hue, saturation, and luminance come in. We are going to adjust pretty much, and this just comes from pretty much personal preference, till you see it go away. So basically just keep doing that, and when you see all the little spots go away, put that up there, put that soft, maybe make it so we can see the green is pretty much going away. Okay, perfect. So now that is pretty much gone. We can turn our saturation way down um, to the low so that when I zoom in, see, there you go, there's a better one. When I zoom in, you can see it's all gray and there's a little bit of a green tint around my face, but we have that so we can turn this up a little bit. We can turn the height up. So let's turn this uh, low and you can pretty much keep playing with all of these until it fits you. This is good right now. Um, so that shows you that, but then you can say, Honoko, but wait, I, don't st I still don't see anything behind me. So that's where I say, ah, wait a second. We have to go over here to our nodes clips. This will show you the output and the input. We have an input, input, and an output and output. So what you're gonna do is you are going to right click and where it says reset all grades, all of this, you're gonna go to add alpha output. We have a little output right there. It's like, okay, so what do I do with that? Very simple. A kindergartner could do this. Drag and drop. Done. Then, let's see. There it goes. Boom. And we have it there. So then when we go back to edit, you can see that, look, my face is in front. This is not perfect, because I just didn't do a perfect job on this one. But if we go back. Let's go all the way back. There we go. Um, sorry for the inconvenience. So when you get to the deliver pad, page, not pad, you see yourself here, you see the two clips, and you see the timeline. Very simple. So custom, I don't exactly know how to use custom, so I just do very simply YouTube either 720 or 1080, depending on what you do. You can look through these, do whatever you want. Then you add render to, add render to queue. I use desktop. Okay shows up here in the render queue and then you just hit start render I've already rendered this so I don't want to but it's very simple that's all you got to do guys for a green screen on DaVinci Resolve let's jump back to the camera for the outro that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys like that tutorial that was a DaVinci Resolve green screen tutorial this is my new setup for the green screen so I can be like way over here and then way over here and that's a big distance and you can see stuff behind me so I hope you guys enjoyed that if you downloaded DaVinci Resolve ask your parents to go to a local fabric store that's where we went we just taped it up you can't see it because it's right above the frame but very easy and very simple so that's a quick tutorial make sure you guys comment how your green screen worked and leave your videos in the comment section below just drag the video from wherever you want and drop it into the comment section and then hit post and tell me that that's your video and I will maybe feature it in my next video so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to click like and to subscribe and adios guys